Hey guys, Wells Knight here, bringing you the brand new episode in my 15 minute build series. And in this episode, we are going to be building this simple survival starter house. It is certainly nothing fancy, but it is built entirely out of materials that you can get in survival mode uh, very, very early in the game. I'm primarily using birch and oak wood and then some cobblestone. So we'll just take a quick look at it. It's basically a nine by seven base just a nice rectangular house we've got some windows we have a cobblestone roof inside there's plenty of storage space room for eight double chests we've got our crafting table some furnaces a bed etc etc now i am using a texture pack uh, called smooth chocolate so keep that in mind it may look a little bit different these are all of the resources that you will need to build this entire house. Uh, ignore these five right here. That's just things that I'm going to be using um, when I actually build it because I am going to be building this in survival mode. Now, let me get rid of the rain. And we will set the time to zero, to morning. And finally, we will set the game mode to survival mode. Oh, hey, that reminds me. I should probably uh, get myself some food. One second here. We'll just grab a stack of steaks, I guess. It doesn't really matter. All right, there we go. So, the first thing that we'll want to do is get some of our stuff ready. And then let's go ahead and put 15 minutes on the clock, starting right now. So, let's see here. We've already got all this ready to go. And we're going to go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. 1, 2, 3. 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Okay. And then this will go 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Then we'll just bring it all the way around. Like so. Now I am going to go ahead and put this crafting table down because I am going to be using it to make a good number of the resources here. And we are going to make ourselves a good chunk of birch slabs. We'll knock out this one in the middle and I'll start putting some of these down. Just like that. There we go. And then right here and here we will put those instead and we will do that. And then this will wrap around. That'll be our little staircase type deal. We'll go ahead and take care of this little bit here right off the bat. Put down some cobblestone and some polished andesite as well. Next, we are going to go ahead and do the oak wood planks. And we'll leave a gap there. And in all of those corners just like so now all of this we will build up because this is going to form our walls Ooh. and that's why i brought tools guys and also why I brought this dirt. I brought this specifically to use as scaffolding. You don't actually need the dirt in the build. I should probably mention that. There we go. So now this should be three. And we are just going to put one more line of these oak wood planks all the way across the top like so and of course I am going to fall 
It wouldn't be a proper survival mode build if I didn't fall at least a couple dozen times. Uh, let's see, there we go. And we'll bring these over as well. And there we go, that forms the base framework for our house. Next, we're going to need some oak wood stairs. So let's go ahead and make a fair amount of those. I think this will be enough. If not enough, it will be a very good start. Kyle is inspecting our house right now, making sure that it's up to, uh, you know, the building code and whatnot. What do you think, Mr. Cow? Is it is it up to standard? I don't know. I didn't. I now now he's checking the other one. I don't know. I'm kind of worried. Maybe the the cow will give me like a citation or something. Who knows? Okay, so that's a good start. Now we are going to go ahead and make ourselves some glass panes. Those will go in each of these, just like this. And we'll just put those right in here. And that's all good. We can put the door in right away. We'll do some decorating on the inside. We'll put the chests right there. We're going to put some birch stairs up there. I'm going to need some more birch stairs, I think. So birch stairs right up here and here. Just like so. And then we'll put those chests in up here as well. So that's all set and ready to go. We can put in our torches right away. They're just going to go in these corners just like that. We'll put in our three furnaces. Our bed goes over here. And our crafting table will go right there. You are in my way, cow. Go away. Okay. So that part is good to go. Let's go ahead and put in the shrubberies. Which will just go right there, like that. Next, we need to do the cobblestone. And it is a pretty significant amount of cobblestone stairs. Uh, quite a lot, actually. So... Let's start putting that in. And we'll just put that in up here. And actually, while we're at it, let's go ahead and make ourselves some more oak wood stairs as well. Just like that. And then we'll just pillar our way up, like so. Hopefully we will have enough. Uh, let's see. We're going to go like so. We'll have more stone stairs going across like that. That will go there. This will go here. This one will actually get knocked out because that is going to be replaced with a window eventually but we can put these in and then let's see here let's just fall down and we can put these stone stairs in as well and this one, I believe, is the bottom oak stair. And we can knock that out over here as well. That'll be that one. There we go. Grab this dirt and jump back up. Okay, beautiful. Now, let's see here. We need... that. I don't suppose I can make that, can I? Of course not. Okay. Nope, can't make that one either. 
Nope. <laughs> uh, okay, well, we'll just pillar jump up, I guess. It's not the end of the world. And we'll put our glass pane in right away, too, before we forget. And I guess we'll come over and do the same thing on the other side as well. So that will go there. That there, that there. And that one right there. Glass pane. And good to go. Okay. Now that that's all taken care of, let's go back to our lovely little building up here. Now, on this side, we are basically going to put inverted stairs, which are just going to come across like that. And not only will that make it easier to place the stone stairs, it will also keep the stone stairs from being visible from the inside of the house. Helps give the roof just a little bit more dimension, if you ask me. Once again, same thing. And just come across with these inverted stairs just like that. And we'll bring those over as well. Now here, we are once again going to make use of these oak planks. This will be the last of the oak planks, I believe. There we go. And then down here, we're going to do another layer once we get these stone stairs in where we want them. And you know what? I think I am one... I am one measly oak plank short. I made just a... I made one too many... One too many, uh, uh... Unless it fell. Oh, no, I see one! I see one. Okay, excellent. We're, we're okay, guys. We're okay. Okay, uh, let's fill this in. And then we'll just jump back up. Come over here. Put that down. And then once again, we'll just go ahead and do basically the same thing that we did over on the other side with the inverted stairs and the stone stairs. And we should have enough cobblestone to make this work. Although we will probably have to run back down there and make some more. There we go. Yep, we're definitely going to have to go make a little bit more, but that's not the end of the world. Okay, so what we'll make is we'll make some of those. We'll make some of these. We'll take our dirt. Jump back up. Fill that in. Up here will go the cobblestone slabs. I misplaced another one, but that's all right. And there we go. So that's all taken care of. Now let's just double check and make sure that everything is done and that it looks right from the inside. I think we're going to be good. Yep, it all looks good to me, guys. So I'm going to call this build done at 12 minutes and 5 seconds. And there you have it, a simple survival starter home. So guys, if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, or leave me a comment. I really do appreciate it, and it definitely helps out my channel. You can also find me on Twitter and Facebook. There will be links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.